Hey everyone, Dead Owl Nerf Guy here. Today, Nerf Halo Mangler review. Welcome to Tag. This Nerf Halo Mangler, this is like kind of a few series from Nerf that I skipped because they have so many with so many blasters and so many blaster reskins. But basically, this one, I had no idea what it was. I skipped it completely. And I just crossed it going Christmas shopping. It was pretty much inexpensive. That's why I decided to take a look at it. And I realized it was a Disruptor reskin. Hmm. I'm not that much of a Halo player. I mean, I was. I had my glory days on Halo 2 and 3, but not anymore. So let's not lose any more time. Open this baby and see what it's all about. This Nerf Mangler look quite bulky because uh, if it is as I think it is a disruptor reskin this is a huge box a very very huge box uh, looking at the back come with six dart as expected uh, this is kind of a big blade thing hopefully it's gonna be foam because if it's plastic I don't see a lot of field accepting this blaster but I cannot I can remove it, worst case scenario. I have no idea how it prime. I kind of hope it's not that little thing, but I'm worried it's going to be. Uh, no idea if there is slam fire on this thing. And apparently there is a game add-on in this box. So we'll see. Let's unbox this blaster and feel like a proper unboxing on this one oh okay yeah it is gonna feel like proper unboxing okay oh and it's that huge with the nice UNSC instruction and what's that something in the bottom Okay, assembly required. Okay, <laughs> I get the box now. Yeah, it's a disruptor. Seem to have slam fire at first try. Uh, this is plastic, very flexy, but still plastic. You can probably bash someone very hard with it. Wow, they have little film to protect the paint and the silver, which my Mando Blaster didn't have. That, that's something. I mean, this feels more collectible than that Mando Blaster. The dart are quite nice. Silver with red tip. I kind of dig it. But they are the usual nerve darts. They're pretty much all crooked when they come. Probably because of the style of packaging. And this... Oh, uh, the side of the drum. I have no idea uh, what this blaster is in Halo. I don't think it was a thing back in Halo 3. Where do I... Oh, there's a hole here, a hole here, pretty simple, I guess. Yeah, you push it there. And then... Oh! And you kind of... Yeah. Yeah, now it's in. But yeah, this thing is a cover. I think it was fixed, but looks like you can open this side to load. That's kind of awkward, but you need to open it to load. Trigger is super stiff on it. So in that box you have the game add-on for Halo Infinite, which I have no clue what it is. Six uh, silver with red tip elite dart some 
instruction for the blaster and this huge <laughs> almost comical look mangler blaster like this this is a big one uh, this is really a big one okay chrono test for this mangler blaster That's good, that's good. Let me put a few more through it. That is not bad. 69 minimum, 77.4 max, and 73.9 average. I mean, I was not exactly expecting like real or above disruptor performance, but this one is giving it. Uh, but I have to say, the trigger is awful. The trigger on this thing is, is really awful. Let's go fire that thing on the target. The Nerf Halo Mangler. Uh, not all bad, but not all good either. Uh, to summarize everything, this is basically a strong arm disruptor reskin, reshell, with some uh, game aesthetics to them and a weird reload principle because you need to open this, reload, turn your cylinder while you reload, then close it, and the priming. But it's not that bad. I mean, this little gray thing for the priming, it's not that bad. The worst thing of this whole blaster is this handle. I got very small hand, okay? And you can see that I would have to shoot with my middle finger to be comfortable on this handle. Because like that, my pinky is really, really cramped. Plus this, all those square shape are not helping the comfort of this handle. Uh, the trigger. The trigger is possibly the worst blaster trigger I have felt on my finger. I mean, this thing is only equal maybe by a sharp worker aluminum swift trigger. Uh, this thing is feels very stiff, kind of have a weird feeling to, to it. it. It's really, really strong. You need to pull on it and it's kind of sharp. This is not comfortable. The aesthetic, quite nice, but the quality is hmm, better than the Mandalorian Blaster, of course, but still not there because it's a cracking festival. This is amongst one of the crackiest blaster I've put my hand on this year. This thing, uh, you could hurt someone with it. I would have like it to be uh, Eva Foam in front, very like like the weapon they have, the, the melee weapon Nerf made. You put two blade there, it's safe, it's better. Uh, I would have preferred it like that. Uh, as a blaster, it is rather good. I mean, how wrong can you go with a disruptor that got slam fire? I mean, that 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 is great. But for the rest, the the air goes on the blaster and. I don't know that the kind of crackiness doesn't please me very well. Uh, to note, there is one 
rail on it maybe you would like to put a scope or something but that's about it but for the rest blaster wise it is really performant for nerve blaster but i think you would be better with a regular disruptor instead of this but at nine dollar it was worth it like how wrong can i go with a disruptor strong arm reskin uh, for that price and that's about what it is next up for this blaster is gonna be a mod <laughs> That's it for this video. In the meantime, you can always follow me on Facebook and Instagram at that old nerd guy. Please leave a like and comment, subscribe for more content. Don't forget to hit that bell to notify for my latest video. And don't forget to go leave your comment on my prophecy giveaway video. This way you're gonna have a chance to bring this baby home. This was Dave Fatag. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.